If you're looking for ways to turn your guest room into a relaxing space for guests, this video is going to be for you. Hey y'all, my name is Erin Abernathy, Southern lover of all things beautiful, and if you're new here, welcome to my home. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about how I create a relaxing space for guests, make them feel welcome, and prepare my guest room. If you're interested in Southern lifestyle and home, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you're updated every Tuesday and Thursday when I post. Let's get started, y'all. This dress is just absolutely playing me today and doesn't want to stay on my shoulders, so I apologize if you can see a strap. But first of all, the first tip I wanted to share with you guys is something that may seem a little bit basic, but I think it's the pillar for creating a welcoming space, and that's cleaning. So having a clean space for your guests to come into. Now, I use an app called 2D to do my everyday in and out cleaning schedule. If you're unfamiliar with 2D, I'll have a little demo popped up on the screen here. This is not sponsored. They don't know me. Uh, but that just keeps me regularly cleaning all the areas I need to clean. And our guest room is a part of that. With that being said, I do like to do a little bit extra when guests are coming into town. So first and foremost, I do go ahead and vacuum dust and tidy. Those are just my basic things. I've kept up with everything else through the time, but that's something I want to refresh. Second, bed linens. So how I view bed linens is I want to have bed linens that are always available in case we have a pop-in guest that needs to stay, but I also want to have the guest linens as fresh as possible. So after a guest stays, I do go ahead and wash those bed linens and put them back on the bed. But before I have guests that are arriving into town that are planned, I do go ahead and wash them again. Just for a little extra special touch, I do like to use the Tyler laundry detergent. I'll pop that on the screen here. And I also like to use that room spray um, normally a day or two before guests arrive. I don't want it to be too powerful, too much of a smell, but I do want to have it a nice, fresh, pleasant scent. So make sure you do know of any of your guests' allergies. So if you're using a down pillow or if you have animals, for example, I have a cat and I do know that we have a good friend and his um, significant other that stays with us on occasion and he's allergic to cats. So I do some extra cleaning in those situations just to make sure he's not bothered by those animals. Because Callie does love to lay on this bed, she has had to be locked out for the time being. So the next thing I think is really important is having a comfortable bed. And I don't just mean the mattress, y'all. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I wanted to show you our bed and a couple of things. We'll get to this little setup in a second. Um, the first thing is, yes, you wanna have a very quality mattress in your guest room if you can. I know sometimes we just throw in those spares. But the next thing I like to do is I like to have a lot of pillow options for my guests. So you can see here, I have three levels of pillows and I do use a silk or satin pillowcase just for extra piece of luxury. And then we try to use some really nice sheets. This pillow is actually one that we got from Habitation Box this month. So I will have my unboxing video linked and the information down below because this is just a beautiful little cozy addition. So the other part of bedding that I like to point out is having extra blankets. So this is just a little throw blanket that I can use for the summertime, but during the winter, I will go ahead and put an extra thick blanket down the edge of our bed in case our guests get cold. I'm not putting me all back in that tripod, y'all, but the next thing is towels, and I want to show you how I present towels. So this is going to depend on the number of guests you have staying with you. So we do have this rattan little bench at the end of our bed. It's a short bench, and unfortunately, Callie has chewed it over the years. But I wanted to show you guys how I present my towels. So first of all, we do have this basket from Habitation Box. Another lovely piece. It can hang. I put in a basket, hand towels and washcloths. And then I go ahead and put in some extra hair accessories. So hairspray, shampoo, everything like that. We keep nice shampoo and conditioner in our spare guest bedroom, but just in case someone needs an extra touch. The next thing is the towels. So I do like to add a little something extra. I did get these sweet little bars of soap. These came from my sister actually. And I'll try to have this brand linked down below, but anything that's beautiful and small that they can use and then this ribbon. So I'm a big promoter of keep every ribbon you get, y'all. That ribbon actually came from a napkin set, I believe, and I'm gonna show you how I use it. So I've got this flipped over for you to see, but this actually came with Velcro. So this came this way, but this would be such an easy little addition 
if you're wanting to create some ribbons that you can use for towels, just put in a piece of Velcro on each end and that way it goes ahead and tapers your towel and holds everything together. And like I said, you can put in some of those additional elements. Hanging space. This is something else that I think is so important when you have guests. The last thing you want is for them to have to throw their coat and purse on the floor. And then again, if they're coming for a special event, they may have some items that they want to hang up. Now, ideally in your spare bedroom, you would want to use your existing closets and dressers for these items. However, that's not always realistic. So me, for example, we live in an older house that doesn't have a lot of storage. So both of these closets are full with our primary stuff. It's not overflow, it is primary. Um, so this is the little solution that I have for you guys. If you have a smaller space or if you just want some additional storage for your guests. So this is the shelf that I purchased. I actually got this from Anthropology Home. You could find something similar on Amazon, but I just thought this one was beautiful. And the reason I like this is it provides some storage space up here. I do leave those perfumes out in case anyone wants to use them. I can put some hangers here in case guests need them, and it also comes with these hooks. So during the week to try to maximize my space, I use this for outfit planning. So I'll plan out my outfits. But when guests come, I do remove all of this and just leave a few little touches so that they can hang their items here. So I do try to keep a lot up during the time, like I said, in case we just have a guest that pops in. But something I like to do special for guests is try to pull in some type of fresh element for them. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So we have this tray here from Target, and then these little beads came from our habitation box, and this beautiful vessel came from habitation box as well, and it was one of my favorite little pieces. So you can use any type of vessel. What I did here, you could of course buy fresh flowers. Um, I just picked some greenery from my backyard, and I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. Okay, so with any type of vessel like this that is does not have a coating, and what I mean by that is it's a porous surface on the inside, okay? You cannot put water directly in that. Well, I mean, you can, but it's just going to leak everywhere. So here's what I do. When I pick my florist, my foliage, I go ahead and put some florist tape around it to arrange it. Then all you have to do is put your items in a plastic bag, Fill it with some water and zip tie it around the top. And what that's going to do is you can put this baggy, and once you condense it, all the water is going to go up for the plant, right? So just make sure that if you're condensing it, it's going to get the water for the plant. And then you can stick this back down in here. So that's all that I did, and I'm trying to do this one-handed, which is going to be tough. But that's a little tip for you. Um, and just to show you guys, you can't tell that there's any type of plastic baggy, maybe from that angle a little bit a really easy way to get your florals into those porous faces. Okay, so another one that may seem a little bit silly, but I am always really big on checking to make sure everything works. So we do have a TV with a fire stick that's ready for our guests. The thing I like to do is make sure I'm always checking that lamps have light bulbs that work and we have batteries in all of our remotes. So let's do that now. So on our night table, like I said, I just want to make sure that lamp works, which it does. And then also, I'll go ahead and show you this. So I just keep some little extras in here like matches, eyeglass cleaner, pen and pad um, if they want to read. And then our remotes. So we'll just check the batteries in this. And then I'll also put some earplugs and different things like that. So something else you can do for your guests before they arrive and... It's not something I want to do in here just yet because I have a very curious chocolate lab who will get into it. You can go ahead and put out some snacks and water bottles for your guests. I do have a carafe in mind from CB2 that will pop up on the screen that I've been wanting. I just haven't pulled the trigger on. So if you have one, that's another beautiful way to have water. But I think having water and snacks within the room is a good way. Granola bars are great for that. Any type of prepackaged snacks. But like I said, I'm not going to do that just yet because Molly will get into it. And my final tip for hosting guests is just to make sure they feel warm and comfortable. My biggest mission within my house is that everyone who walks in the door knows they're welcome and knows I want them to be here. So whether that's letting them know verbally that you want to be here or creating a beautiful space for them to come back to, just make sure you're providing that positive attitude so they feel welcome. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're preparing for guests, let me know what your favorite tips and tricks are for hostessing. And I look forward to see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. I also wanted to show you guys really quickly, because this is a hanging basket, this would also be another great option. 
or you could hang it on a hook. And even if you didn't want to put these in here, this would be great for people just to kind of throw their extras like wallets and things like that. So really like this basket.